So far in this course, we've covered the main concepts and ideas of how film works as a visual language. I also looked at ways in which you can use elements such as camera angles and editing to tell a story visually. Now it's time to get down to the actual business of storyboarding, drawing pictures. For the rest of this course, I'm going to show you some techniques for drawing and explain step by step how to build up your drawing skills. It's amazing how you can actually learn how to draw quickly, expressively and clearly. You don't need to be a master artist. There are actually a couple of techniques that, once you learn them, you can produce really clear and solid drawings. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the concept of perspective and how it's used when you want to draw something that looks three-dimensional. I'm going to show you how to create a grid and that will make everything you draw look solid and structured. The first thing to know is that in any given drawing you have a horizon line. It's important to establish where you want this horizon line to be because it represents the camera height. So for now, I'm going to just pick a standard camera height. And so I have put my horizon line right here in the middle of the page. Then I choose a spot on this horizon line and that's going to be my vanishing point. From this point, I just start to carefully draw lines radiating outwards. So diagonal lines below and above this horizon line. If you're working in Photoshop, hold down the shift key to ensure that you get a straight line. Then I draw lines that are parallel to the horizon line, like this. Now you have your grid. Already you can get a clear sense of depth and you can really feel that things could be diminishing into the distance here. I'm going to draw just a couple of rectangles to show you how this grid works. I'm going to use green to show the lines that travel towards the vanishing point, like this. And then in red, I'll draw the lines that are parallel to us, to the viewer. And there you have a perfectly structured rectangle shape in perspective. A really useful tip in working with the perspective grid, if you're having trouble matching up your lines or anything like that, a good tip is to first lay down the base of the object that you're trying to draw. So like in this example, if you're drawing a rectangle, you could draw the base of it first, like this. Then draw your vertical lines going up to whatever height you want the rectangle to be. And when they meet up with the diagonal construction lines, then you can just finish off the rectangle. And there it is. Drawing plain old rectangles might seem a bit boring. But make a few rectangles on a grid like this and watch how an entire cityscape can start to emerge. Play around with it and figure out composition and where you want buildings to be. And keep practicing this technique. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw two-point perspective.